Honestly, Kerr Jones, oh my god. Oh, oh no! Oh, Debbie! Oh my god! Hello everyone, welcome back to LSPDFR. Jumping in here with a 2020 Ford Explorer. We've got a bunch of callouts today that get us on the hunt for the suspect. So instead of being brought straight to them, we have a huge radius where we got to kind of hunt them down. And honestly, very cool aspect instead of just being brought straight to it. So nonetheless, let's go ahead and jump into LSPDFR and see what we can get into. Okay, well that vehicle just ran a red in front of the bus and just everyone that was driving there. So we're going to go ahead and uh, attempt to get up to him to light him up gonna be this uh dominator gray in color dispatch we're gonna have a 1011 68 mary john tom 820 on a gray dominator it looks to be occupied times one Ten four. Okay, let's get them lit up since they're making a left hand turn super aggressive why can they not just pull over in this general area without doing some dumb shit final stop is uh south power just a spanish Copy oh, that. Forgot I had a partner. We're gonna have to go on the driver's side. Are you crazy? Out of the way. How you doing, sir? Stopped you today for your uh, red light violation. Totally forgot, and we skipped time there to get back to my memory. Uh, you got a license, registration, insurance. I see that we smell uh, alcohol get coming from the vehicle. So we're probably gonna pull Thanks. them out. Let me just get them ran. My partner's here, so it's not a, too big of a deal to have them out. Uh, sit tight in the vehicle for me, Mr. Armstrong. All right, let's get his name ran, though. I want to see if he has any priors for it or just anything in general. So let's go ahead and open that up. We've got Antonio Armstrong. Uh, valid license, no outstanding warrants. Has a gun permit for a handgun and a long gun, but it smells like alcohol. It said narcotics, too, but I don't think we got a read for anything necessarily. So let's check the uh, vehicle. Valid, valid, not a stolen vehicle is also registered to him. So we might have an arrest report with this guy. As of right this second, we're going to pull him out of the car just so we can see what's going on. Uh, dispatch could have run some DUI tests here with this guy. 10-4. All right, sir. So why don't you do me a favor and uh, hop out of the vehicle for me. We're going to run. Okay. Push me out of the way. Why don't you? Wow. Okay. We're going to run. Uh, walk over to the side of the curb there we're gonna run some tests you just follow me okay that's totally fine don't try to run off don't track star me okay all right sir just hang out right there uh let's see we're gonna set up in a good position to be able to do this as long as i face that direction we should be good uh we're gonna start with the walk and turn since it's oh i guess we're facing him and i'm sorry did i not click the walk and turn i could have sworn i did unless it was like the Turn and look or something. I might have fucked up. Look at the pen, sir. Just keep an eye on it. Don't move your body. So he passed uh, the horizontal gaze. I could have sworn I picked fucking turn. All right, let's try it again. So he's going to do it looking towards me, I think, maybe. So. All right, sir. Just walk away. Take 10 steps. You've probably had this test before. He definitely looks somewhat intoxicated or that's his walk what? i don't know that's weird i don't see why he would be walking like that no lady can you shut the fuck up on your phone call order your coffee some other time okay so he did fail that that's interesting all right we're gonna do a one leg stand probably not the best to do it on the uh dirt but seems like you got it you gotta keep keep your leg up sorry what do you mean you can't do that all right. Well, you're Come being on. difficult for no reason. So up. that was all of them. We're going to do one last breathalyzer. I got it already here, sir. Just blow into this to here. Click. I appreciate your cooperation and not running off into me in the middle of this. Appreciate it. Let's go ahead and see what we got. So 0 0.036. Uh, legal limit would be 0 0.08. So he's definitely over. Um, I would say if he has alcohol in him, he's over the legal limit. He failed portions of the test, and he also ran a red light, causing an accident. I definitely say that we could arrest this guy for sure. So do me a favor, sir. Put your hands behind your back. We're going to take in for DWI today, okay? 
was just going to be a normal ticket for that, but you know what they say. So you have anything on you that's going to stick, poke, or hurt me? We're going to find out, I guess, right? Maybe that's where those narcotics smell was coming from. Uh, knuckle dusters, pretty much just a weapon related. All right. 1015 with one male on power Spanish. All right, man. 10 four, copy that. Sit tight. Uh, I'm going to get you out of here shortly, actually. Dispatch requesting a prisoner transport to power in Spanish. I'll get you out of here right now, honestly. Assistance oh, perfect. Required in Howard. All right, let's go ahead and search this while they're on the way. Jones is going to just take a watchful eye, I guess, over them. Uh, scale coated with tan powder. All right, I'm going to run it really quick. So see if we got something else or maybe that's drug related. We'll find out. I'm sorry, Dracula. Shut the fuck up. It's his brother in there. <laughs> that's so weird. Oh my God, it is. What the fuck? It's literally him. Okay, well, you know what they say. Uh, let's do a narcotics field test really quick. See if we got anything coming back with this. Chances are it's going to be not. Jesus Christ, that's a lot of tests. Okay, coming back positive for heroin. So that's a DWI possession of controlled substance and just fucking every goddamn possible thing that you could get. Shut up. I just arrested your brother. I don't want to have to arrest you. All right, that uh, 1015 has been transported. I got vehicle secured. You could uh, start a tow truck. Jones, you could stop following me. Just sit tight, my man. Just hang about in the middle of the street. That's it. That's super safe. Tow truck is rolling up, and they just picked that up so we can get this road. It has been shut down for a minute. Surprisingly, traffic isn't fucked. She has been on the phone at that intersection for God knows how fucking long, dude. Dispatch, we're uh, code four power tonight. All right, we got a shoplifting call coming out right now, so we might as well take that. It's going to be in Strawberry area. I believe the security guard already has them 1015 or stopped. Dispatch, uh, we'll take that shoplifting call in Strawberry. It's not too far. I believe it's going to be at the 24-7. Uh, we still got our body cam going. I forgot to turn it off. I'll reset that footage. There we go. Excuse me. Just trying to, you know, lights and sirens everywhere you'd think you'd stop. A lot earlier than that, bitch. Wait a second. It said... That's not... Oh, that's at a different place. I've never seen that. This badge, you can just mark me uh, 23 on scene. Oh, motherfucker. I told them to remove that shit for God knows how long, dude. Uh, I think it's going to be in front of that store, so I'm going to just pull in here. Oh, are they already gone? They have to be. Why to interact with a subject? I see the su uh, the security guard. How you doing? Are you okay? You can stop waving. Hello? Oh, how you doing? I tried chasing them down, but they pulled a gun. Oh, this escalated way quicker than I thought. Okay. Uh, we really need to get a new job. Oh, no. I really need to get a new job. Okay. <laughs> Hands are clean, indicating this suspect was not an aggressor. Okay. I think I just did a quick GSW test, and I had no idea. Face is bruised. Cut is indicating the suspect was possibly... Was indicating this suspect was possibly the victim. Okay, so we're looking for someone else. Uh, Michaela Manders, alleged shoplifter. Suspect was last seen in the area indicated. Stop and question them. Uh, it's going to be a female black hair with a black shirt. Okay, sir. Uh, I appreciate the information. Try to get some uh, medical attention if you want to go get that, okay? Or I can have it sent out this way, whatever is the case. I'm going to see if I can locate her. I see a bunch of people across the street. God damn, that looks good. I'm going to give a love fix from the accident with the telephone pole or whatever the fuck that was. Uh, Jones, you can get in the car. All right, we're going to see if we can locate uh, the female. She has to be in the area. I'm pretty sure it's one of the people crossing the road. Oh, no, she's pretty far away, it looks like. Uh, dispatch, we have uh, the MDT updated with the information. Looks like she's made it a couple blocks down the road here. All right, we updated that. Jones updated that with dispatch, so she at least knows what we're going out to. Seems like she's going pretty fast. Yeah, she is going down the road. Let's see if we can try to just get down there a little faster. I see a lot of females, and it's not making it easy like a... 
They just don't have a big shirt on. All right, now we got to see if we can find them. We're definitely in the area of this individual. This is pretty cool cohesive call there. I got someone over there. It's a male. Just be in this area. I don't think they're going to be located inside of a vehicle. Dispatch, we're 23 in the area. We're going to attempt to locate that uh, female subject from the MTD. Uh, we can't go through there. Copy that. I was going to try, um, but she's definitely in this area. That's a pretty big search radius, not going to lie. But I kind of like it because instead of just getting like directly drawn out to where they're at, you kind of got to look. And that's what it's all about. So we're going to see if we could try to locate her. I guess we're pretty much code six in the area. She's going to look. Oh, my God. Don't hit me. Jesus Christ. That was close. She's going to look uh, just like she would in the photo. It's like she's wearing different clothes. Blinding the shit out of everyone. Really, bro? You're going to cut me the fuck off? Damn, you look good. Hopefully, she doesn't go back towards the victim, too. I'll just flip a Yui down here. That way, we can check this end bit. Oh, that looks like her, bro. Dispatch. I believe I got the suspect. Uh, we're Dutch London Street, Lowen Street uh, Lowenstein Boulevard. Uh, female subject, dark hair with a uh, tank top on and black jeans. No weapon in hand. So I want to say that that's her. I'm going to take a quick look and see. Ooh, no, I don't think so. Because again, she has like a thicker shirt on. Yeah, I think we got to keep looking. I, I got excited there. I was like, oh shit, that's them. No, it wasn't. Wait a second, is that her? Oh shit, I think that's actually her. Yeah, because the hair looks like it's pulled back. That's her. Dispatch, I got the female here, Brogue Avenue, northbound. Uh, I want to get her stopped in the spotlight. Let's jump in front of her. Hey, you doing, ma'am? Can you stop for me, please? Hey. Wow. Hey, Hold can you stop really quick? Perfect. How you doing today? Man, I ain't done a day. Fuck, it's her. That was so legit, bro. That was a search. Okay. You just need to relax, okay? I'm just... I need to have a chat with you really quick, okay? No reason to get upset or antsy or anything like that. So tell me what's going on. I can't... I don't remember what she said. Subject seems honest and upset. So let's see. What did she say? I wasn't paying attention. Uh, suspect was last seen in the area. Hands are clean, indicating the suspect was not an aggressor. Subject seems honest and not upset. Okay, so... I'm trying to see here. So what do we have? She was a shoplifter, though. Oh, uh, I can't remember what else she says, unfortunately. Okay, well, we got our ID, so I can at least see what's going on with that. We'll get that ran in the system. All right, uh, Michaela, just sit tight with my partner really quick. I just got to see what's going on, and I'll get you out of here if I can. Dispatch confirmed I do have the uh, female um, here stopped on broke. So, I'm a little confused. It's a shoplifting call, and I think she got into an altercation with the clerk or security guard. Um, I'm going to reread the statement if I can and see. Let's just back up out of this person's yard if possible. So she stopped in his cooperative for the most part. So I guess that is a plus. Um, and we'll just kind of see what's going on with her persons, like her name. Okay, valid license. No outstanding warrants. No gun. So I remember there was an indication of a weapon involved, if I'm not mistaken. See, she said a story, but for some reason it didn't show up in that briefing thing. Okay. Um, well, we still got the other person involved. I don't know where a gun was involved. I don't see one. There could still be one. You know what I mean? And you know that call from yesterday where we got ambushed on Cypress Flats? That yellow icon is still here, and that call was from the same call maker as this one that we're on right here. And as you can see, we're with the subject but it's still yellow. That means you really have to go with your intuition and or description of your subject and hopefully get the right one. That's pretty cool, I gotta say. Sorry, that realization right there. 
All right. Well, at this point, I am dreadfully confused. Um, so I don't know if I should arrest her. Unfortunately, I was talking to you guys instead of seeing what the story was, and I can't re-talk to her. So... I mean, if for some reason the perception thing told me that she was honest. Um, honestly, it seems like a he said, she said. Uh, there was another party that was involved that was injured, but I don't know how that would reflect... She said she... I'm trying to think. I think so. The thing is, he knew her name for some reason. I don't know how, but we have an assault. We have an assault, and she assaulted him. The statement seems truthful and honest, so I want to say that she confirmed <laughs> that she was there and that she assaulted him. So we're going to need to arrest her for that because she did do that. So, okay. I appreciate your honesty. Just do me a favor. Turn around really quick, okay? Don't prison. do anything stupid. Oh, she like pondered there for a second. I was like, oh God. Just cooperate, okay? You've been super cool. I get it. You took off. It's fine. Just hang out right there, okay? Can you pat her down, Jones? Uh, 10.15 with that female for battery. Um, also going to be possibly for shoplifting. So it's a wallet and a pack of cigarettes. That could have been the item that she stole. I don't know why she's stealing it. Where was Jones going there? Um, I'm not sure what that was exactly. But uh, Jones, what the fuck are you doing, bro? You really gonna you gonna go do the tactical hole in the wall? That's good. Dispatch requesting prisoner transport for female. All right, ma'am. I got someone coming out for you right now. Uh, you are gonna be placed under arrest for the uh, battery, okay? And uh, it's probably just gonna be a ticket for the theft the shoplifting i assume it was for the cigarettes it could have been for something else i haven't received the statement from the security guard that you beat up yet so uh we'll see wow this fucking guy is making my game lag i don't even know why it would spawn it inside the parking garage in the first place like how's how's that gonna do him justice so i decided to help on the resources that was the issue i was having with the game yesterday is there was just there's so much going on. I have so much high quality stuff in that it honestly is shitting the game in the city. So I had to kind of tone stuff down a little. Uh, we have one transport car I'll make for each pack and it'll be the Taurus here because it's the lowest quality. Or not lowest quality. That's not what I meant to say. It's the lowest polygon out of the bunch and they're still gorgeous. That's what I meant to say. Um, so we'll make a transport for each vehicle. That way only the Tauruses show up. And it helps save a little bit of resources. If they spawn like that and have to keep respawning, it's going to shit the resource. So far, it's been good, though. Honestly. And it still looks good. We run 4K textures on our vehicle. And transport will run 2K. That way, any car that comes out won't be as invasive on, you know, requirements. So, uh, I think it's working. So, let's uh, get out of here. Dispatch, we're uh, code 4. They've been transferred off. You can show us 10 8. That's solid as shit. Honestly, that's a beautiful yeah, fucking color. Back. All right, we got this guy going 47 in a residential area crossing over the train tracks. Uh, you're going to go right too. Fantastic. Uh, we're going to see if we can get up to him. It's going to be, I think, a two-door muscle car. And he also has white underglow. This guy is pissing me off. Can you get the fuck out of my way? Uh, dispatch, going to be westbound, Jamestown, on standby. 10-4, copy. Okay, so, 69, Union Robert, Ida, 303. It's going to be a dark in color, Sabre, GT, I believe. 10-4, copy. All right, let's go to get him marked up here. He also has underglow, so I guess that'll be a nice little add on top because i'm gonna only do red and blues will do for sure pull over that's it almost killer uh red and blues will for sure do a traffic stop but then any other car that will wait is a secondary let's get him lit up though okay he's taking off oh shit uh dispatch i got one pulling over it was super aggressive though uh, it's gonna be south mcdonald street to occupy times one 
I don't know what the fuck Ten that was. That, it's almost like he was taken off there. So that was very strange. Uh, let's go ahead and hop out and see what's going on with this guy. How you doing today, sir? Stopped you today for the uh, underglow, that's for sure. And then your speed's 47 over the train track past the uh, police station. That's definitely not good. So you got a license, registration, insurance on you I can grab, please. Get plump. That fucking explorer looks so goddamn Thanks. good. All right, Mr. Wilson. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, Mr. Brooks. So registered to someone else. Okay, sit tight in the vehicle for me. Okay, so it's uh, gonna be John Brooks registered vehicle to Bryce, I think Wilson had said. Uh, let's go ahead and look at his name here. Uh, we'll look at Mr. Brooks. So he has, okay, he has an expired driver's license, which I guess makes sense. Maybe he just doesn't know what the fuck's going on anymore. Uh, time stopped is four. Outstanding warrants is none. Has a gun permit, yes, for a handgun. Broken windshield and two speeding over a hundreds. That's insane. Holy shit. All right, let's look at the vehicle. It's coming back to someone else. He probably doesn't have a car, honestly. Uh, let's look up. I'm going to have to open it again. Bryce Wilson. I think this is the registered owner of the vehicle. It's honestly irrelevant as shit, so... Uh, we're going to have a vehicle tow and a possible 1015. Let's see what's going on with him exactly. I might arrest him for an expired license because uh, that's over a year at most. Yeah, that is over a year. Uh, all right, sir. You got an expired license. Obviously, you can't leave. So you want to just do me a favor and hop out of the vehicle. Thank you for your cooperation. I do appreciate that. It always helps. Wow. Uh, we're going to take a step over to the curb here. You've been cooperative. Minus almost killing everyone on the curb back there. So just do me a favor. Follow me over here. Right over here, sir. There we go. Hang about right there. That sounds good. So I'm going to search the vehicle, see if we got anything inside here. Uh, as of right now, he's had 200 plus tickets for speed. He gets pulled over for speed again. No license. Definitely just not good. So nothing in the car. I'm going to get this towed. It's not a factor in the situation, so it's not a factor in the situation. Dispatch requesting a tow truck uh, to McDonald Street. Okay, so I'm deliberating if I want to tow truck. take you into custody. Required. Honestly, you've been cooperative, uh, so I'm probably Rancho. not. Uh, I'll just have a hang about. I'll write up some tickets for you. Your vehicle is gonna get towed and impounded, probably across the street from where you just sped at that police station, so. Uh, hang tight. Oh, that sounded like they fucked their shit up before they got the car, that's for sure. Hang tight right here. I'll get you out of here as soon as possible. Uh, negative 1015. We'll just write up some citations and get them out of here. 10 four, copy. Okay, I'm going to downgrade some stuff since he's technically been cooperative. I don't think he's going to attempt to flee or anything. Let's get this opened back up. Mr. Brooks. Great citation. Uh, it's going to be vehicle operation for an expired, it said. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I guess, oh, that's vehicle operation. Why did he move? That's very weird. Usually they never move. Okay, we're going to do an expired driver's license. Greater than 30 days. Uh, which is definitely just not good at all. Everything else checked out. He also is going to get... He's going to be driving without a license, too, which de definitely isn't good. Uh, we're also going to do the vehicle speed under 15. That's three issues there, but it's all going to be added under citations, as you can see. So, All right, let's get this guy out of here. He'll be good to walk off and get home that way. All right, sir. Quite the expensive ticket you just racked up. 1715 for this. Coming in th four tickets. Four tickets. Why did I why did he get four? Oh yeah, driving without a license. Yeah, you should probably not do that. Uh so here's gonna be your tickets. Just sign the bottom. Thank you so much. I do appreciate that. And you're gonna be free to go. You can walk off on foot and don't drive until you get a license, which you haven't had one for a year plus, so make that like a priority within like the next day all right sir have a good day go on all right jones 
all the shit. What did he say? Jesus, guys. I don't know. Get in the car, Jones. Dispatch, uh, we're going to be clear code for. Right now, we got a call for service for a lost suspect at the GWC golf course. That's about two miles away, so we are going to step it up just a little because we've got a pretty far way to go. Dispatch, we're heading out to the uh, GWC golf course for that lost suspect. I don't know if that means they're... Oh, my God. I don't know if that means they have units already on scene or... Oh, thank you for moving over. You're so kind. Or what's going to be the deal. But uh, we got to get an air unit. We could do that. Usually, I just follow the GPS. I know how to get there. Act like I don't know. And I still end up following the GPS. Psychologically, you just see that yellow fucking line. All right, well, we're uh, almost there, or not really, but we're going to be there in about a mile and a quarter, so get a nice little, I want to say code three. They called us code two, which I guess, see, it just doesn't make sense. If we're looking for a lost suspect, why would you want me to get there slower? Definitely is a code three response. See, if we get greens, that's perfect because we don't have to slow down because we know traffic's going our direction. But uh, if it's not, it's always a good idea to slow down. I like how I forget to turn. Out of everything I have to turn off, what are you doing? I forget to turn the body cam off. It's nice seeing traffic, though. Honestly. I mean, it, before, I kind of just totally forgot. I was like, first traffic. And I realized one of the files that I put in just completely obliterated the traffic. So, that's always quality. Dispatch, we're going to be uh, at the golf course. We're going to be rolling up. You can mark us here. 10 four, copy that. Okay, so if we're going to have a pursuit, I would assume, since it's a lost suspect. I really don't even understand what that necessarily means, but we'll be ready. Let's see. Watch there just be an officer here with, like, a cup of fucking... Oh, that's an air unit. What the actual fuck? Are we going to do a helicopter mission? I have Jones. I don't want him to die on me. What the fuck? Let's see what's going on here. This is weird. Debbie, you better tell me this isn't what I think it is, because I'm going to shit myself dry. Glad you arrived so quickly. Okay. I mean, I tried to go as fast as I could. Uh, a unit chased a suspect into this area. Area. I'm sorry. However, they can't find them. We are flying overhead to spot them. Uh, I'm going to just throw it out there. You're not flying overhead. You're actually sitting on the ground. My co-pilot called it. Bitch, please. You wouldn't have left your fucking goddamn helipad. And I have no one that can control my camera. That's why I called you. I'll, I'll do it, but, like, I should hit you right now. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I should fucking hit you. Okay? <laughs> I just say, okay, I see. Anything else I need to know? Oh, fuck. You probably learned how to use the helicopter's cameras in training, but in case you forgot, I'll give you a quick fuck you. Left mouse, attack. <laughs> okay, thanks. Right mouse, aim. Middle mouse phone. Why would I need to pull out my phone? Uh, okay. Talk between different type of... Oh, I see. It just shows me. Well, that's good. I didn't pay attention to the actual keys then. I was looking at the second ones. Yeah, no. We're all good. Yeah, let's do this. Uh, you want to stay here, man? It's pointless for you to even come in here. No, no, no. Get in the... Bitch, I so help me God. If you kill me because I'm doing the camera and you are flying... All right, Jones, if I don't see you after this, we'll see how this goes. What do you mean, ask my partner to get in? No, I need her to stop being an idiot. Quality. Should have had her standing on the other side of the plane, not going to lie. Oh, God, I should kill her. Like I said, I should have smacked her. So I'm going to see if I could bypass this by helping her out. Oh, see? 
That's why we can't have nice things, Debbie. I'm telling you right now. If you had a fucking brain the size of a quarter. Shut the fuck up. I just helped you out. Get the fuck in the car. Watch us have broke that. Why to give your pilot hell? I didn't even know that that's a thing. What did it say? Alt. I am the pilot now. But what the fuck? Fuck Debbie. I'll just do this myself. Oh, that's cool. Has a little light. Honestly, fuck her, Jones. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, Jones! Oh, Debbie! Oh my god. Oh my god. Get out, get out, Chank. Oh my god. Get the. <laughs> Holy shit. I killed them both. Oh my god. I killed them both. They're both dead. I think I shot the police. I don't know what happened. Ah, fuck. Jesus Christ. Oh, Jones, I'm so sorry, man. I shouldn't have even piloted it. I know that I knew it. That was going to be a bad idea. I seriously knew that that was going to be a bad idea. And I still lifted off. I'm so sorry, Jones. Rest the fucking peace. You were, you were good for this episode, but kind of you're stupid in general. But I don't, I don't want to diss you on your deathbed, but that was fucked up, man. I'm sorry. Ah, shit. I'll tell your chipmunk pet that you're no longer with us. Where the fuck did... She's a stupid bitch. That's her blood stain right there. Oh, no, that's her gun, I think. Hold on. Damn, Debbie was packing some big-ass heat. Okay, I don't have access to her weapon because we're using realistic weapons. Oh, Debbie! I got her. Have a little eulogy, eulogy for Debbie. Hi, right, Debbie. Well... God. <sighs> You're just a piece of shit. I'm sorry. I can't. I can't. I can't. She's just a piece of shit. This is all your fault. You know that, right? Because you didn't get the goddamn shit in the motherfucking airplane. In the helicopter. Whatever. Don't patronize me from death, bitch. Okay? I'm telling you right now. Ah, fucking ass. All right. Well, you could let the uh, higher-ups know. It was, oh, God. I just broke everything. God damn it. I tried to talk in dispatch talk. Well, you could let uh, the higher ups know it was Deborah's fault, Debbie's fault on that. Okay, she was the air pilot. That was the main air pilot since her co pilot didn't show up. Uh, you can send a corner out and I guess an actual pilot or another one to pilot the helicopter. What a weird day. I killed not only fucking Jones, but I killed Debbie. I mean, no one liked her, but in the end of the day, that's pretty savage that uh, two co-workers died by uh, your amazing pilot skills. Alright. Bye, guys. Bye, Debbie. Okay, this guy's carrying some alcohol in this. That's definitely not good. Dispatch, we're going to be out with one male Del Perro Boulevard alcohol. Hey, buddy, you want to stop for me? Nope, you're just gonna keep fucking walking. Hey, whoa, you heard right me now. running up right now, Lay huh? Up. I saw you drop that alcohol container. That's definitely not good. Can I see your ID? Get flump. Thank you. I do appreciate, appreciate that. Alright, Mr. Gallo, I think that is. Uh, just walk back over here. You can leave that alcohol on the ground, okay? It's pouring out anyways. Follow me over here. Perfect. I should be backing up and looking at him at least instead of having my back turns. So he definitely looks drunk. He was drinking a container there. I got uh, one male stopped on Del Perro and Portola. Hey, just hang out at the front of my car, okay? 10-4, copy that. Hang out right there for me. That'd be great. Appreciate it. Uh, let's go ahead and run this individual's name. I am blocking this whole lane, but honestly, they could just deal with it at this point, I guess. Yeah, fuck it. I want to see what's going on with this guy. Uh, we'll do some sobriety test. He can't be walking around drinking and also drunk. So maybe just a ticket, possibly jail. Uh, hunting without a license, riding bike without a helmet. I'm how he's an adult, but okay. Uh, expired vehicle tag. All right. He does have a valid driver's license. So I guess that's good. No vehicle though. All right, man. Everything checks out with that. Uh, you can't have the open beverage and walk around. You look a little intoxicated. I'm going to see if you're intoxicated. Uh, we're going to do a quick breathalyzer test, okay? Just 
cooperate with me. Just blow into this to here. Click, okay? Thanks. Okay, he's not coming back intoxicated. Maybe it was something else. It already disappeared, but usually you don't shove something in a bag. Unless it's alcohol like that, like a 40 ounce. But, uh, okay. Well, tell you what. Since I did see you with the beer, I'm going to give you a ticket for the beer. Um, and the uh, public and... Not the public intoxication, but just the public drinking. If there is a s such charge in my uh, MDT, okay? Uh, other than that, you should be free to go. I'm not going to pat you down or anything, so... I guess you'll luck out if you have something else. Just don't stab me in the neck, okay? I'm being super cool with you. I'm gonna have a few citations for him. We'll let him go. Ten four, copy that. All right, let's get his uh, name here. Citations again. We're gonna have to judge this off what I have necessarily in the system. So let's do. I'm gonna kind of have to look around really quick and see. Okay, so the only one we have is public intoxication. Not necessarily what I want to go with, but we'll finagle it to work with the specifics that I want. I should add more in if we're working the city, because we're definitely going to see people walking around with bottles. I totally forgot. Not many people do that in the uh, in the county there, so it's kind of nice how it holds different feels and stuff like that. Okay, so we'll just get them for one. I'm not going to ha hassle them too much. We'll submit that. All right, Mr. Uh, Gallo, let's get you out of here. Uh, again, it's just a citation. It's a fucking hefty one. Jesus Christ, $1,000. Uh, it's going to be for public intoxication. I'm not going to arrest you because you're not intoxicated. Uh, it's for the open alcohol beverage that you can't have. You already poured it out. So, I mean, you can have it. You just got to go somewhere where you can drink it. You can't just walk around wherever. Uh, let's get this just issued to you. Just want to sign the bottom for me. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. All right, you're going to be free to go. I do appreciate your cooperation. Go on! Okay. Immediately starts crossing the street. At least he's going opposite from the uh, alcohol container. Uh, I'm 10-8 here on Portola. Oh, hospital. geez, that's different. We have a uh, hospital emergency. Let's just get that accepted really quick. It's right down the road. Dispatch, I'm uh, code 3 to the hospital for that escaped subject. Damn. That guy almost fucking took us out. All right, well, we're pulling up. Uh, dispatch, we are 23 on scene. We're going to talk to staff. Copy that. Five, Adam, five. How you doing? With caution. What's going on with this uh, patient? Hey, officer, over, there, over here. What's going on? Are you guys okay? Yeah, we're fine, but we got a big problem here. All right. We, had a, <laughs> we just had a patient escape who has a known history of serious mental health. I thought they said they escaped custody. They uh, were saying some really concerning and threatening things before they escaped. Do you know where they went? I have no clue. You've got to find them as soon as possible. <laughs> okay, thanks. For their safety and everyone else's. I, I don't need your fucking one-liners, okay? Is there any information on the fucking person? That's what I need. Uh, yeah, I have some medical records right here. That seems extremely illegal to hand me those. Okay. Um, well, you might just be out of a job after that, but uh, schizophrenia, paranoid, personal disorder... Four time stopped. It's gonna be a Laura Collins. Alright, I, I appreciate the information, ma'am. I'm gonna see if I can run that really quick. I don't know where she's at, but we gotta get an ID kind of on what she looks like. Oh, she's in that area. I still kind of need to know what she looks like. So let's just lock this. It was kind of common spelling, I think. Okay, so I guess we don't have a way. Oh, that's a cheat code thing. I was thinking we had a computer system, but I think I took. Yeah, we got this one only. Okay, so I'm not going to know what she's going to look like, unfortunately. But we can kind of move that area and see if we could find her. Dispatch, we have information. We're going to move to the area to locate. Let's get this stuff turned off. Almost just that. killed Rodrigo, the fucking security guard over there. All right, let's see if we can find her. I have no information on what she looks like, unfortunately. For some reason, this bitch committed like a cardinal sin of handing me... Her medical record which literally did nothing for me except tell me that she's schizophrenic which i guess theoretically i could find out on my own here in five seconds so all right we're just gonna see let's let dispatch know we're in the area it's a pretty small search radius uh dispatch we're gonna be in the area of the last known with that subject we got him right here looks to be a male even though they called a female 
Hey, no, 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 no. No, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Okay, I'm gonna try to reason with them. Hold on. I gotta get a little closer. Come on, bro. I got one subject uh, has someone at gunpoint. Come on, I got medical on scene. What are you doing? Bro, you gotta stop. You gotta stop. Oh, fuck. I'm sorry, bro. I had to do it. I had to do it. I shot him in the fucking arm. Sorry, I thought it's without a reticule. It's really hard, okay? That's fucking funny. Okay, instant. That's the biggest and quick. I haven't even got the guy in custody yet. Jesus Christ. What would they have done if they would have showed up and I would have had him at gunpoint? Fucking A. What a bunch of fucking staff. Uh, we got one subject down. Uh, shot was fired. Two shots were fired. Multiple shots were fired, actually, if we want to be precise here. I got a uh, subject that ran off. He's been struck in the arm. Uh, let's notify area hospitals. I thought he was going to be... Thanks for that, guys. Really the best fucking response ever. Next time, don't. All right, I'm going to get this guy in custody. Yeah, he got domed. I mean, theoretically, I would assume... I should have reasoned with them, but I would think that the person that was being held at gunpoint would clearly, I'm, sh I'm sure he doesn't want to take a bullet at all, but I'm sure a controlled bullet, even though I would have been a slightly over to the right there, he would have been big dead, but uh, you know, it's a better than being shot in the head, okay? You know, because this guy didn't turn out too well. He's now DOA. That was the quickest medical response too, so I mean, that just shows you. Better take one in the arm than the fucking head, I guess. So, confirmed 11:44 on the uh, subject. Uh, I'm gonna need corner. I was gonna run him over, but I thought I saw him go towards that person, which honestly I wasn't expecting. Like I was expecting to run towards him, maybe pull out like a knife and start stabbing him, and I was gonna say, okay, well, fuck, let's just take them both out. But then he kind of grabbed him, and I think I scared the civilian out of the legitimate place he was going to be. That's another sophisticated call that I really wasn't expecting, which was kind of cool. We're going to have a bad progress report for the uh, medical staff there, but I guess everyone's going to live. I guess not. That guy with the arm wound is going to be there. He's gonna, they're going to he's gonna walk in like, oh my God, what happened? I was just shot by a cop uh, who shot this guy in the head. Oh, good. He found, <laughs> he found the guy. Quality. Uh, what are you guys doing? Come on. I don't know why medical is still fucking there. Like, are you serious? Go! Hit the gas, bro. What are you doing? They're idiots, huh? Fucking morons. They're, they're literally never going to leave. They're going to be there because by the time they get that lug of shit moving... I'm sorry, what? I'm just talking shit about the medical over there. All right, appreciate it. You guys have a good night picking up corpses and shit. All right, let's get out of here. Dispatch for code 410 available. What the actual fuck is that guy doing? You see that wide-ass turn? He, I don't know what it was. He just ran that stop sign, oh, too. To yeah, all you, my guy. Shit. Second Saber GT. I'm trying to get a goddamn pursuit. This guy's over here fucking swinging around from side to side. Uh, dispatch, we have a traffic stop. It's to be Palomino Avenue. 10-4. Dispatch, we have a traffic stop. North Palomino Avenue, 04 Edward William Oscar. Zero. Sorry, 22, both zeros, 14. North Palomino. Attention all units, officer requesting traffic Alright, we're gonna go on the back near, side of this just to make sure. Dispatch, you could clear that traffic control. How you doing, sir? Stop me today for that, uh... No, she didn't do it that time. Stop me today for your... Alright, sorry about that, sir. I was trying to get traffic cleared, um, because somehow my dispatcher can stop traffic. It's truly amazing, the technology we have. Uh, so I'm stopping today for the maneuver that you did, I really don't even know how to explain it. I'm just gonna say it was reckless driving, because it's pretty reckless. So, and then you blew the stop sign there, making the right-hand turn. Uh, you got a license on you I can grab, registration, insurance. Get All right, Mr. Brown, just sit in the, uh, in the vehicle for me. I'll be right back with you. 
Uh, let's drive, walk around to the... Can you just go around? It's really not that difficult. There's so much room. I would love if they pulled into, like, alleyways. Or, like, driveways or something. It would be so fucking amazing. That, that'd be too much, though. That's too much to ask for. George Brown. Uh, improper turn. Parking on sidewalk. Driver's license is valid. No outstanding warrants. Three times stopped. Uh, registration is valid. Insurance is valid. Not a stolen vehicle. It is registered to him. I don't know why he did that. It didn't necessarily look like he's intoxicated or anything of that nature. It just kind of looked like he did it on purpose. So I'm not sure what's up. Uh, we're going to cite him for vehicle operation, I guess. We'll just hit him with a careless driving. That was, that was pretty bad. Okay, we got that for Mr. Brown. Dispatch, we're going to have one citation for the driver, Tenant. 10-4, copy. All right, Mr. Brown, got a ticket for you today. It's not too bad. It's uh, $200 for a careless driving. Mm -hmm. um, like I said, I should have got you for the stop sign violation. Totally forgot. I'm not going to walk back there and get it. So I guess you lucked out today. Uh, this is going to be the ticket book. Just sign the bottom for me. Thank you so much. I do appreciate that. All right, you're going to be free to go. You have a great night. Uh, I guess I'm just going to dismiss. All right, you have a great night, sir. Thank you. <clears throat> you can show me 10-8 available from Palomino. Okay, right now we got a uh, active shooter call coming out, so we're going to go ahead and respond to that. Realize we have not had... It's been a great episode, but we haven't had really any shootings or pursuits, which is pretty crazy, but everything's felt pretty awesome. Uh, dispatch, we're 23. You can just mark us here. So, we are on scene. I don't know where the suspect is. I want to go ahead and get some armor, though an active shooter so we got to get there uh the shooter's gonna be somewhere on alta we are on scene get out of here man get out of here five out of five approach with caution okay we got him up here i should probably just grab a rifle for right the second just to get it i hear a bell going i don't know if it's a part of the subway or what Let's just try to stay uh, somewhat tactical right now, see if we can locate. Uh, we're on scene. I got a uh, secondary on scene across the street as well. We're gonna approach. No shots have been fired. Fire you, don't send the corner. Don't send the corner. Hey, I got one with the gun here. One with the gun. Dispatch, I got uh, subject in the parking lot with a handgun, it looks like, male subject. Copy. Okay, he's got a pistol. I'm gonna go ahead and move up. No shots have been fired right now. Okay, fucking A. They're corners on scene. I hope they I'm gonna hold position. That way we don't have a shootout with the fucking corner rolling up really quick. Finally, they took off, so we're good. Let's get up to this vehicle, see if we can just get cover without a firefight ensuing. Okay, dispatch. I got one male subject armed with a handgun, green jacket, blue jeans. Bald head uh, with black hair on the side. Uh, he is not pointing. No shots have been fired. Okay, so right now he seems calm. Um, I don't know if I can get him to drop it. So I'm going to attempt to try to take him into custody. He hasn't technically shot. I'm going to move up behind him. That way I have the element of surprise here. If he does try to pull around, at least we'll be able to shoot him first. Hey, buddy, if you can hear me, you need to drop that gun for me, okay? We're behind the subject. Uh, he still has gun in hand. He is nonverbal. All right, I think I'm close enough to actually get him to possibly drop it. Police! Hey, buddy, Let's drop it. Don't do anything up. stupid. Just get on the ground and drop the gun, okay? He is on the ground. He didn't drop it, which makes it a little sketchy, but he is cooperating. Okay, let's move up and get him into custody. Do not move since you have that gun in your hand, okay? I do not want to have to shoot. Well, I do want to shoot someone, but I don't want to have to shoot you. Okay, well, for an active shooter, he wasn't doing much of uh, the shooting part. Uh, he did have a gun, but... 10-15. Alright, man. I'm going to search you down, make sure you have nothing else, okay? So he had a small revolver on top of the other pistol. 
that he had. Definitely a nice little assortment of weapons there. Let's go ahead and get this guy to the vehicle. And uh, we'll get him transported out of here. Glad we had everyone else show up before we had him in custody, though. That's good. All right, man. I don't know what was going on, but uh, clearly not a good idea to go to a parking lot with a handgun. Um, kind of looked like a transient, so... Someone called in a uh, active shooter. Stay right there. Dispatch requesting a prisoner transport to Alta Street. One mail. Assistance Damn. Required. She's on point today. She's hearing it. I like it. All right, you're going to be picked up here shortly. Just sit tight, okay? Try to stay right here. We've called prisoner transport from here before, and I swear to God, this is the worst spot, and I don't understand why. All right, let's try to put him in the car. This also doesn't work. I haven't tried it since the city, but I can give it a shot. I already have him padded up, so we're good. All right, man, just watch your head, okay? Don't pop out. Okay. I'll be damned. Oh, did they get... What the fuck? But they actually got here this time. Last time, I shit you not, it was episodes ago. They sat there and did that, like, recycle thing in the construction for so long. I had to bring them up. At, like, the end, I remember bringing them up to it to help. That was ridiculous. And that I actually get them in the car, too. What the fuck? I don't know. Fuck it. All right, they'll take them. I got one being transported. You can show me code for tonight. Right now, we got a call for a reckless driver in the uh, Vinewood Hills area. So we're going to attempt to locate this guy. Looks to be about 0 0.65 miles away. That's barely even a mile. So he's going to be out in the Vinewood Hills. Uh, dispatch, we're going to be heading out to that reckless driver in the Vinewood Hills. 10 4. See if we can get through some of these just to find this guy. Actually, I don't even think he's going to be in the Vinewood Hills. He's going to be on uh, Sonora Road. Which is like... Uh, barely. Okay, that'll be our territory then. Is he not driving though? It's a reckless driver. How is he not driving? Uh, information looks like it's uh, updated to the farm just off of Sonora Road where that re reckless driver is uh, stopped right now. I'm going to see if I can get there. I've, I've never had a uh, high-speed chase call where the driver's just, like, stopped. So let's see if we can find him. Is he just sitting in the fucking... What's he doing? Oh, I hear a car taking off. Uh, dispatch, I believe. Yeah, I got one reckless driver. He just launched off the uh, hill here. He's taking off going towards the county. 10 four, copy that. Are you going to just... Oh, my God. I don't know if we're going to catch up. We had a stupid-ass idiot in the road back there. Up oh, here's number two. Oh, God. Are we not going to be able to catch up? These idiots, dude. I think I see him right there. No, it's not him. Oh, okay, I see the taillights. We have no eyes, but I believe I see the taillights of the vehicle still traveling westbound or a high rate of speed. Okay, uh, 22, they just TC'd with the vehicle. We're uh, westbound Sonora. 10 4, copy. Well, we can't uh, call it off just because we're out in the county. We're going to have to pursue this guy. Hopefully, they end up going back to the city. But chances are that's not going to happen. But we'll uh, keep chasing him. Uh, we're northbound at Joshua Road. Speeds at 80 mile per hour. Looks to be one occupant inside the vehicle. It's a silver two-door muscle car. License plate 02 Zebra Adam Sam 423. 10-4. I couldn't tell if it was a female or a male driver. I had no chance to really see that, so... Let's see if we get a little more information on this. Looks to be a female, honestly, a blonde-haired female. Still continuing uh, eastbound Joshua Road. Looks to be a female driver, blonde hair. It's not a stolen vehicle. She's in it. Like they, uh, they probably own it. So I'm not sure if we want to try to run that. See if we get a name. Oh, I can't check anything anyway. So still uh, eastbound Joshua Road, passing Sandy Shores right now. Speeds of 75. I'm going to get set up for a pit because they're honestly very stable speeds. 
And it might just be worth it to kind of get in there and let's nudge this car off during a safe point. Still, uh, Joshua Road. We're coming up to the 13. We're passing Grapeseed. Backup needed in, uh, okay. uh, Grapeseed. Didn't ask for that, but all right. Gonna get dangerous. That subject is uh, Union Road. It's gonna be North Union, coming up uh, to Grapeseed. Oh shit! Ten four. I don't know what they're doing. They slammed on the brakes. That was the first brake check that I saw the whole goddamn time. Let's let them figure out their turn, and we're gonna go for a pit after this. Their car is pretty slow. I just I uh, gotta not do it on these aggressive turns. Uh, we're now westbound Union Road, going across the 13, going into Grapeseed. Yeah, this is a shittiest city to do the pit. Oh, fuck. God damn it. That would have been so smooth. Okay, uh, we're going on to Joad Lane, which is going to lead out to Seaview. Uh, we got 55 miles per hour. Four, five, out of five. Out of the way, out of the way. Oh, fuck. Too much traffic. God damn these turns. Fuck you. Don't try to hit me. Uh, we're continuing Sea View southbound. Speeds of 76. We got light traffic. Oh, oh, oh. You are so lucky. Uh, she's heading south on Joshua Road, heading towards Sandy Shores. Speeds of 90, we got light traffic. Damn! Beautiful! Oh! Damn, really? That was aggressive, and she was going to pull off from that. Yeah, you need to get your hands up. You're going to get shot if not. Hands the fuck up right now. Don't move. I got a uh, pit on vehicle, massive TC here. We got one stopped, hands up, she's out. I don't know how the fuck you're awake. That's honestly amazing. We're not even supposed to be out here. I don't even work out here, lady. What the fuck? I don't work out here till like next week. Shut the fuck up. It is, <laughs> is it supposed to be a civil That was a wrong fucking voice line, but all right. Fucking dumbass. That was a beautiful pit. I don't think we got any damage from that, except for maybe when she went back down in the car. Possibly. Now, I got a 1015 with uh, one female here. All right. I'm going to patch it down. 10 four. Okay. I'm searching the trunk. Never mind. We are nowhere near that. Oh, yeah, an AR 15 and a bag of shrooms. What a great combination. Come on. Grab the suspect, Chang. Why is she not a. She's, like, not a person that I can stop. That is messed up. What? Don't shut up. You don't understand. Okay, well, now she's incapacitated, but I guess you get the picture. Uh, let's just get medical out for her. Ambulance. That was Assistance a great fucking pit. If only she didn't short. crack out at the end. That would have been fucking solid. I want to check the uh, vehicle damage here, just to kind of see what we got. Let's turn some of this stuff off, that way I can see. Dispatch medical is on scene, uh, gonna render aid to the suspect who rolled their ankle when they got out of the car. Let's go ahead and get my flashlight. Yeah, I don't see any damage. I think we pit with, uh, yeah, we pit with that passenger side. That's the side I like the pit on or push with just because uh, it's easier that way. I don't see it. Go oh, right there. So it does have a collision on this, even the wraparound. But uh, whenever you do a pit, it'll show it. I don't know why it's doing that. It'll show it uh, on the actual car. See you, lady. Um, instead of it on the ram bar, even if it has a collision, that's just kind of how GTA works. But uh, yeah, there's zero damage. We could definitely get back 
on the road with this easily. All right. Well, they're going to take off with uh, that individual, so I could take off from here and get back to the city and go home, goddammit. Yeah, that's it. Keep, yeah, that's it. Dispatch, uh, we're code four. You can show me 10 7 10 42, headed back to jurisdiction. All right, everyone, that is going to be where we wrap this episode of LSPDFR up. Like I said in the intro, definitely some awesome calls, some call outs, some traffic stops, just super cohesive. Like sometimes I usually don't spend that much time on a call out, but everything was just the vibe. It just worked out perfect. So, nonetheless, that is going to be where we wrap it up. So thanks so much for watching this episode of LSPDFR. We will see you next video. Yeah.